Hello, everybody. How's it going? Get everything started up here. Whew. Woo. I just ran around like a crazy woman. But I'm always doing that, so it's all good. Okay, let me see. Let me say hi to everybody before we get into this. Hello, Robin. Hello, Reality Check. Hello, Astrid's Astrid's Realm, Wax Boss, Blue, Callie, Mama Bubbles, Jude Carroll, Hey Betty Crocker, Blue, nice to see everybody. Nice to see everybody. Graciela Canales says, Adonis, I love you. Is Adonis in the chat? I got a strike on my main channel. You must join my live channel or perish now. Can you do no less? Mr. Sparkle is disrespectful to dirt. You got a strike from last night? It must have been after I fell asleep. What happened? Do you know who did it? Hey, hat man. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. Hang on one second, guys. You already know what I'm going to get. Hold on one second. Okay, you know, I can't have my lips dry because then I can't talk correctly. Okay, hello Brenda, hello Khaki, hello everybody. Oh, Adonis Paul says, I love you too, Graciana, or whatever the person was that said I love you. Hey, let it go. Hey, Mimi. Huh. I have some stuff to show you guys. <laughs> Now that I can breathe, okay, let me see here. So what we have is this. Let me see if I can make it a little bigger for you guys. That way we can, no, that didn't really make it bigger. But anyways, that made, oh, that made it smaller. Okay, I'm going to make it, there we go. We're just going to keep it like that. Okay, so this is the facts constituting probable cause document. This is why I was late. I was trying to go through and redact stuff because I like to be as respectful as I can on my channel. I'm not trying to give away people's birthdays and all that shit. I'm not an asshole. So I try. But this is going to tell you everything that the police officer knows. That's what this document is going to tell you. Everything that he took in during interviews from beginning to now. Alex Bleeping Jones. I knew something happened, AP. I went back to watch the part of last night's show I missed and it was gone. Yeah, I thought that he just, like, sometimes whenever he goes a little too far off the cuff and says things that he shouldn't, sometimes he gets rid of it on YouTube, but he always uploads them to VivaLosTejas.com. You can go and watch all of the episodes. But then when I saw that it wasn't on there, too, I was like, oh, okay. Usually it's here by morning, so... There's our answer. He got struck on his main channel. And I didn't see if he said why yet. Thank you for posting his link. This is me now. Subscribe to Hatman. Someone can post Hatman's link for me. Let me get on to live chat because I'm fucking retarded. Okay. Facts constituting probable cause. Let's get to this because this is going to be a short live, unfortunately. Okay. <clears throat> Comes now detective of the Bentonville Police Department, Criminal Investigation Division, and under oath doth state. On December 30th, 2021, at 1620 hours, blank reported a rape to the Bentonville Police Department that occurred on December 3rd through the 4th of 2021. Officer Sam contacted Letitia via telephone because she was no longer in the area. Letitia said she was using the Bumble dating app when she met a man named JW. In her profile, she reported to be homeless, looking for free meals, and wasn't looking for sex. Letitia said they connected on the app and exchanged phone numbers to continue conversations. She said they spoke on the phone for a few days. They then met in person on December 3rd, 2021 in a parking lot in Fayetteville. 
Sounds right so far. She said when they first met, they hugged each other and he spanked her butt. She thought it was weird, but continued spending time with him by going to dinner. During dinner, he made suggestive comments to her. JW told her he was renting an Airbnb and invited her to the home. She agreed and drove her vehicle and followed him there to stay with him. She said they arrived at approximately 2,200 hours, and when they went inside, he led her straight to the bedroom. She said they hung out for a little bit, but she began to feel uncomfortable due to two other people renting another bedroom in the same house. Letitia said she left and went to her car where she smoked marijuana. So that all sounds very right so far. So let me find the next one. These got out of order, so if this takes me a second, I'm sorry. I have to make sure that I'm showing you them in the correct order. So let me see here. That isn't it. Hang on, there's a bunch of them and I have to make sure that I'm showing you guys the redacted ones. Oh, here. Okay, let me get rid of the other one so that this one lights up. Okay, let me make sure you can see it. Yes, you can. Okay, let's continue reading. Letitia returned to the bedroom and took off her stockings and JW pulled her towards him on the bed. She said J.W. put on a movie and they watched for a while and then she showered. Letitia said they went to bed at approximately midnight and she asked if he wanted to spoon by lying next to each other facing the same direction while they sleep. She said she did not make any sexual advances toward him and only turned her back to him in the bed to be the little spoon. Letitia said she was in a deep sleep when approximately at 2 o'clock in the morning on December 4th, she felt JW grab her hand and force it on his pee over his pants, <laughs> and she felt his erect pee. Letitia said she played limp and asked herself how she was going to get out of this situation. She later said that when she felt his pee, she immediately pulled away and withdrew her hand. Letitia said J.W. got very aggressive and grabbed her hips with both of his hands as he and he pulled her toward him while they were still facing the same direction in bed. Letitia said no multiple times, but she couldn't be too loud because there were other people staying in the bedroom across the hallway. Ah, now I know why she included that part. Okay, now I know why she said that. Letitia said J.W. tried to pull down her pants but was unable, so he untied her sweatpants drawstring and pulled her pants down just far enough to expose her buttocks and vagina. Letitia said she felt him insert his pee into her J.J. and she let it happen for a few moments. Okay? And she let it happen for a few moments. She told us that she was completely asleep until he ejaculated on her. So let's just keep that in mind. Letitia said he was very large and she was in shock of what was happening. She said, oh, fuck me, Jason. Oh, fuck me, Jason. She said he moved on top of her, turned her over onto her back, pulled her legs up and continued penetrating her. She said after about one or two minutes, J.W. said, I'm about to go. She could feel he was about to ejaculate inside her, but he lost track and ejaculated on her. She said by the time she rationalized what happened, she realized it was great. Letitia said that after Jason finished, he asked her, do you want a rag? Letitia said she cried quietly to herself, and J.W. said, you're making me feel bad. Letitia said that when she woke up at approximately 8 o'clock, she thought maybe I should give him the benefit of the doubt and told herself she might as well get mine, and she rolled over to face him. Letitia started showing affection to J.W., caressing his face and chest. J.W. told her, I need you to tell me yes, and she did. So let's go on to the next one, if I can figure out how to get there. Here we go. Oh my, this is hard to read, guys. It's like I'm reading a, I'm going to take a second here. It's like I'm reading a romance novel or something, but just the worst one ever. <sighs> okay. Letitia said she had consen consensual sex with JW positioned behind her. 
She said, JW asked her, where do you want me to come? She replied, he spelled come wrong. She replied, if you come in me again, you'll have to buy me the pill after. He told her that he would buy her anything she wanted, and then he ejaculated inside her. She said she enjoyed having intercourse with him at that time. She said after he ejaculated, she went back to sleep, left the and JW left the Airbnb around 9 o'clock. Letitia said she was confused about what happened and texted JW saying that the second time felt euphoric. Letitia said JW was very sparse replying to her text messages that day and he never returned to the Airbnb, but she stayed until December 5th and then left. On December 9th, she texted him regarding him, regarding him not replying to her. She told him she was going to file a great report. He replied, do what you got to do. We saw those. On December 21st, Letitia went to a walk-in clinic in Hot Springs for an STI test. While she was there, she was told by staff that she was pregnant. <laughs> On January 5th, I contacted Letitia via phone and conducted a recorded interview. The recorded phone call was added to the case file. Letitia explained that she has been posting videos to her YouTube channel outlining different events in her life. The YouTube channel was named Love Notes for TLC. Letitia explained that years ago her ex-husband took sole custody of her daughter and these videos are for her to watch one day. Now this, this really got me. She, I didn't even have to send anything to the police or anybody. She told the police. Not just the police, but the officer that was assigned to her case. She told him, go to my YouTube channel. I'm telling the truth over there, too. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's things like that that tell me she's not quite as smart as she thinks she is. You know? Let's continue. Letitia explained her ex-husband was able to get custody because she was diagnosed with mental disabilities, indicating she was not fit to parent. Letitia said she was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, borderline personality disorder, a bipolar disorder that is associated with hypersexuality disorder. Letitia also expressed that she was a victim of abuse by her father and her ex-husband. Letitia informed me that two days before JW graped on December 4th, she met a man named Tom on the Bumble dating app. Letitia said she met Tom at a house near a military base in Jacksonville on December 2nd. Letitia said that she had to drive to the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office to file the grape report. A search of Letitia's YouTube channel revealed a video regarding the grape investigation. The video was titled, Finding Out I'm Pregnant, Pregnant by someone that pushed themselves on me. Hang on, we have to go to the next one. By someone that pushed themselves. I have to make sure I'm getting the right one. Oh, here. By someone that pushed himself onto me. Hang on, let me switch that. There we go. By someone who pushed himself onto me one night and then ghosted me. The video is just short of 30 minutes long. The video was recorded and added to the case file. Letitia just said she also had extens extensive conversations with JW, which she emailed to me, and were added to the case file. Letitia also posted a video titled, Graped by Two Military Men and Pregnant While Being Homeless and Disabled. In the video, Letitia discussed her time with JW and Tom and accused them of graping her. Letitia forwarded screenshots of messages between her and JW that began on December 1st, 2021. The messages are consistent with the time frame of their relationship. On the day of the grape, Letitia and JW communicated about having sex, whether they would have sex again, and if she was going to take the morning after pill. On that day, Letitia expressed she was going to leave, which she did. Soon thereafter, Letitia accused JW of the encounter as grape, However, asked him to have again. The last message JW sent was on December 9th when he told her that he could not offer her what she needed. From December 9th through January 3rd, Letitia sent a substantial number of messages to JW that were suicidal, homicidal, and harassing in nature. Many of the messages she sent to JW were romantic and erotic, and she attempted to maintain a relationship with him while other messages were aggressive and threatening in nature. 
Letitia told Jason that he needed to be involved with her or she would file a rape report against him. On January 6th, I made, a, I made telephone contact with JW. He refused to provide a statement. In a YouTube video Letitia posted on January 7th, Letitia said, The fact that I'm pregnant right now and nobody does anything about forcing the father into taking care of me, tending to me, financially supporting me during this time. Everyone knows and understands that if he can't do that shit, then shut the man, then shut the man in prison. Because there is no reason for me to have trip, have to trip the fuck out mentally and grow a child that might have to grow a child that might potentially be ripped away from me and ruin my fucking emotional stability. Whew. Based on the foregoing, the state joins me in requesting that a warrant of arrest be issued for Letitia Collins for committing the offenses of filing a false police report, a Class C felony. So that's what we have there. Thoughts? Thoughts class? I don't know why I'm a fucking Oompa Loompa right now. I'm not sure what's wrong with my camera at the moment. I don't usually look like an Oompa Loompa. So, but we're going to go with it. What do you think, chat? That was really hard to read. Not only because it was so sexual in nature and had so many things in it. And I knew what to expect, but it's just hard to read those things. Whenever it has names in it and you're trying to, you know give everybody as much privacy as possible, even though it's public information, you still want to give people respect, even though everyone and their brother knows the names of everybody in this situation and some of their social security numbers, thanks to Letitia. Um, Monica says he's just as dumb as her. Um, I know that Letitia plays a really good game, Monica. She really does play a real good game. Uh, she knows how to manipulate. She knows, oh my God, that's even fucking worse. She knows how to manipulate and she knows how to act normal when she needs to. And this is what I was saying yesterday. She's going to skate through this. Uh, she's going to skate through this whole process. There's nothing. It's going to be a slap on the wrist. It's what it's going to be. I'm sad to say that to you, but trust me, she's going to get a slap on the wrist. The judge has already decided that she's redeemable. And that's that's it. They're not having a trial or it's it's still listed online as a non-trial. Whether or not that will change if Letitia refuses to take a plea deal, which would be the stupidest thing she could ever do to refuse a plea deal. That I think that's the only way that it would go to trial and then I still think they'd have to choose to take it to trial. You know, and take the time for it. So I have no real faith that anything is going to happen that teaches any kind of lesson. And I'm not even saying I want her thrown in jail, but I feel like she needed a mental evaluation. In, in my state, that's, that's usually what happens. You offend a couple times, they let you out, or they send you to like rehab or a program. And then when you start really violating and doing the same things over and over again, then they start, you know, First, you stay in jail for 10 days. Then they're going to put you on house arrest. Then stipulations come with it. Like, their state just doesn't do stuff like that. <laughs> Al, do you actually think she'll show up for court? Jen, I am not going to make a decision on that until I know who she's with, um, which I should know as soon as I get a call back here that I'm waiting for. Um because I would assume whoever paid her bail, that's who she's with. I would assume she's with mother because that's where her car most likely was left at her mother's house. <laughs> Jail and asylum, a wood chipper, all are acceptable. Hat man. Oh, it's, this is a rough, rough acceptance. Like it took me all day yesterday to get to the acceptance phase. I was just so upset. I was just Ugh, looking for anything to give me some comfort and everything I looked at just made me even more like I went through the cases that this judge has done not Letitia but everybody all the cases that she's been overseeing lately and she does this like I saw men who had several you know of those kind of charges assault and stuff I saw her give them $25,000 bonds and the prosecutor asked for like you know 
35 again, which that would have been okay to me. If the prosecutor, you know, we know that the prosecutor asked for the $35,000 bond. If she would have given her a $10,000 bond, I wouldn't be as perplexed by it because that would still be in the tens of, you know, tens of thousands. But she literally went down to 2,500, which you might as well say 250 bucks because that's all you actually have to have, which she probably had. She hasn't been eaten out at her vegan restaurants and stuff. She probably got a disability check and got un, uh, out of debt. You know, she was in the negative on her account. That's what I said, Callie. I don't, but I feel like it's almost normal in Arkansas because then I started going through some other judges and it's, it just seems like they don't have room or time to worry about this kind of stuff. Unless she does have the baby and murder it, they just don't have the time or patience or, you know, care to deal with it. I know storms of life. I'm still not, even though the cop said in that report yesterday that we read that she's seven months pregnant, then he went on to talk about her YouTube channel. So I don't know if he's just saying she, you know, that's what she claims or if she had already had a pregnancy test by then. I mean, everything in the court paperwork is referring to her as a pregnant woman. So I'm more leaning that it's true. It's just that this letting her out when they only had to keep her for like a month and a half, that's what keeps me wondering, like, really? A pregnant woman? And then people, some people told me that we're better off if she's not pregnant when she goes because they're more likely to punish her if she's not pregnant. So I don't know. But this public defender will push to push her trial out as long as he can because that's what the goal is going to be to get the baby out before she goes to jail. And he'll get that. He'll get it. It's so easy to get a continuance. In this. You can get 20 fucking continuances. I watched Truthfully Trisha continue a case like I think three times. It was like thir or three months each time. Paula would know because I think that was her case that she kept continuing. But Trisha had a case that she had to answer to and she continued it for like a year. So it's not hard for them to get a continuance and and have time to plea it down to something. And then, you know, time passes, nine months passes. She did what? What? She hasn't done anything to him, right? Oh, pfft. drop it. Just drop it. And I hope that that's how it turns out. I hope it turns out that she doesn't do anything to hurt the baby or anybody. Because if she does, it's not on my hands. It's definitely on that judge's hands and the whatever, however that works. Oh, let's read the chat for a minute. Frustrating. Monica, I don't, it's not JW's baby in the first place. That baby doesn't actually belong to J. The only thing that we need to focus on with JW is this false grape all allegation. He's not the father. JW is not the father of this baby. He's not. Does this mean she's going back to e-begging on YouTube? Monkey boy, I would actually be surprised if we see her. Because that is, if someone didn't tell her yet, I would be surprised. Someone had to have told her, whether it be her public defender or the judge while she was handing down her charges. Somebody has told Letitia that going online is the stupidest thing that she can do right now. Because Letitia has access to all this just like we do. She has all these papers and stuff. So she knows that they know and that it didn't work out in her favor. So if she's that dumb to come back online, it would be the very worst thing for her case. In fact, like I said, I expect her whole channel to come down in a day or two because those videos are detrimental to her case. Detrimental. At least that's my opinion, Don Porto. I do not believe for one second that it's JW's baby, but I will tell you, JW just wants everything to turn out peaceful. He wants everybody to be alive at the end of this. He did not mean for this to happen. He was a stupid man that made a stupid man decision. He was probably lonely for a while. We are humans, though. At the end of the day, we're humans. Don't sit there and tell me you've never 
you've never been desperate for touch or desperate for love and gone out and had a little fuck with somebody. Like, don't tell me that. Or a cuddle or whatever. <laughs> like, we are humans. And he's a human. <laughs> Just remember that. He was a stupid human, but he is a human. And he made a human man mistake. No matter what mistake he made or how much of a hoe you think he is, it doesn't justify what she's doing. You guys, yeah, I saw someone comment, she really believes that he did that to her. And how dare you, how dare you say something about that? He believes, or she believes that he did that to her. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. The people that say that. I just don't know where you even, how that computes in your mind. Because he's not even the father, probably. She, from November 12th until December 5th, Letitia was packing them in. Like she was slinging dicks, left and right. So no, nobody knows who the father is. Nobody knows. It's probably some random bumble dude that didn't have anything and didn't, wasn't good enough. To be the baby. I really seeing Takedown Man on Al's feed. How you doing, Takedown Man? Y'all still in AZ? Do not bring Katie over here, Takedown Man. Was it you? Oh no, it was Isaac. Never mind. Isaac's doing stuff with her. I don't want Katie over here. Just don't bring Katie over to my side, please. But thank you for being here, Takedown Man. I'm sorry. I get into my, my bitching. I read like six comments every hundred comments. I'm sorry. Let's see. What's everyone saying? I don't even think Thomas is the dad. Yeah, Callie, I don't even think he is either. I don't I don't think Thomas is either. I think she got pregnant November 12th. I live here. I'm about 40 minutes from where she is. Oh, someone lives in Hot Springs. If something happens to this baby, they're going to consider it. Oh, yes, premeditated. Yes. And also, even if the channel comes down, the, we everybody has all the videos. There's multiple people that have all of her videos. So it's that's not a concern as far as us covering the story goes. They can make Letitia take her channel down so it doesn't hurt her. They can't make us, I don't think. I don't think. I learn new things about freedom being taken every day. How about, do I even want to bring that up right now? <clears throat> My husband literally texted me and he's like, watch the news. And I got on and immediately it was all the Roe versus Wade stuff. Oh, so I'm sure you've heard of it, but let's not talk about it because this isn't a political channel. I'm so sorry I even brought it up. I just remembered that I'm supposed to be watching for cities to start burning. Have you spoken to JW on the phone or has it all been via messages? Sean, it's all been via email. He contacted me and yes, I have vetted him several, several times. I've gotten information from him that nobody else can have and screenshots and everything from him that I'm now seeing confirmed, you know, that the police also had that stuff. So JW is JW. I, there's not a doubt in my mind that JW is JW. Good Lord. I wonder how many men were there. <laughs> Love when I run into you. You're always missing y'all. Fuck, Fuck Katie. That nasty cow can see where she is. Thank you, Take Down Man. Awesome. Yeah, I confused you with Isaac. Isaac, of course, saw how many views Katie gets with RSN, and so he had to fucking start sipping up some of that. The jail I did medical rounds at, we had pregnant women all the time. Oh, yes, there's pregnant women in jail all the time. No attorney can make this crazy bitch take it down. Oh, they can't make... Well, yeah, they can't make her. Like, the attorney can't be like, take it down, or you're, I'm not being your attorney. But he will make a very, very serious suggestion like dude this could completely ruin our case and ruin your chance of staying out of jail type of suggestion tardinomicon may still be hamstrung but all the videos are still safe latiti is also fully uploaded elsewhere yes all the videos are documented adonis says personally i can't wait for women to start burning things i have guns bring it on ladies right get they're calling it the evening of rage i think that's so perfectly named the evening of female rage. Hate to see it. But she's not seeking help. She is a beggar being a chooser. Yes, she's not seeking help because myself and dozens of other people have offered Letitia help in multiple different ways. Financially, I told her that I don't even have to be involved with her, that I would talk to someone that she trusts and 
work on it as a team. She doesn't want that. She doesn't want that. Uh, Adonis, what's... Oh, talking to Adonis. Gracie, just look up Miss Fucking Wonderful. Oh, yeah. If you want to know who MFW is, just look up Miss Fucking Wonderful. Not a ton of stuff will come up on YouTube because all of her channels were, like, demolished. But people's videos that have her in them will be on. Will be up. Leticia will be back and gloat with a smug face while talking. Let's see. I don't know. I'm not making any bets, but I feel like at least for a couple weeks, she's going to be like under the watchful eye of somebody, whoever bailed her out. Do you really think she'll care what her lawyer tells her? This is her reality, not ours. I, I mean, I don't know. If she's smart enough to like compute that he's right, I don't know though. She thinks she's mentally superior to everybody. The streets will flow with Mensis blood. Yes. Oh, I'm glad I don't live in a city. Very glad I don't live in a city. <laughs> Leticia is going to be doing her day of retribution. I mean, I'm sure we'll see her again. I just don't expect it to be right away. Unless, like, a complete idiot bailed her out. Oh, I, ho <laughs> I hope I find out it was one of her internet simps. I really do. I'm not going to do anything to them. Like, what can you do? Just in, for my own peace of mind, if I found that out, it would just be just fantastic. Because I just can't wait to see someone try to control Letitia. Can't wait. If it was anyone but her mother and they think that they're going to change this woman and flip her into a completely different human being, that means they've never dealt with a mentally ill person in their lives and they know nothing of mental illness, of Letitia's severity. Not a thing. They know nothing. They're just a nice person and probably like a Christian or some shit. They're trying to get some heaven karma. I would never offer Letitia help. Lord dummies. Yep. They'll take your guns next. This is just the beginning, right? Today, abortion. Tomorrow, all of our guns. Oh my gosh. Let me answer this woman. One second. <laughs> Online paid for. Sorry, I asked somebody to pick something up for me. And... They were asking me questions and I was ignoring them. Whoever bailed her deserves to lose their house when she jumps bail. Oh, yeah. I mean, I just can't wait to see this unfold and see the person <clears throat> turn against Letitia, which will do nothing for them at all. They'll still have lost their money. So do you think her first call upon release was to her, her, her herb dealer? She needs her medicine. I mean, that picture, her mugshot, she definitely looked like she should well not should smoke because she's pregnant but it looks like she was craving it that's for sure yeah the the bail she actually got take down me like he said was 2500 that's not a lot of money if you have to get it together because you need bailed out of jail like don't you guys think that you could get if you went to jail couldn't you get 20 well 250 dollars together to give to a bail bondsman and 2500 in assets like come on I mean, no one's going to lose their house over $2,500. That's not going to happen to this person. They're not going to lose their home. But they will be out $2,500 probably or however much they put into it. So. Or they'll save Letitia and they'll rehabilitate her and then uh, God knows what. I don't know. This has been the most ass backwards thing I've ever followed. The most ridiculous story I've ever followed ever and I followed truthfully Trisha for like four years as a story this is like whoo I miss Trisha I miss fucking truthfully Trisha and her stupid faces and her stupid things that she says and I miss that now Trisha is a victimless cow Letitia is not I think it was her mom, just a feeling. Yeah, Wax Boss, I would not be surprised if it was her mother. Because can you really see some... It's just that, of course, as with everything, every time I stop a live stream, I get like five or six messages from people trying to throw people under the bus or say, it was this person that did it. And it was, you know... So I don't pay attention to them really. Like it's it's funny to hear some of the shit that people accuse other people of doing, but I'm hearing the weirdest names brought up for people that paid Letitia's bail. 
TT is a bunny rabbit compared to Letitia. Yes, she is. Even 35K was too low, in my opinion. That's a $3,500 payment to a bondsman. Yeah. Uh, Graciela Canales. Oh, talking to someone else. Yeah, Dick. She's Dick Hammer, but she's out. She's out. Oh, Evil Dead. Thank you. Plot twist. It was James Clark who bailed her out. <gasps> Do you really think he has that much money that he's willing to? No. No. Not Jimmy Boy. He just bought earrings for his nursey nurse friend. My God, I wish Jimmy wouldn't have blocked me because I'm trying to give him... Jimmy, here's a plea, Jimmy. I'm trying to give you woman advice now with these videos. So unblock me and just listen to me. I won't steer you wrong, I promise. I'm just going to steer you away from the nice, innocent people, hopefully. So just, just you got to listen to me, James. You're running yourself into the mud with this girl. Trust me. Trust You've been spinning in the mud. You're fucking, the back half of your four-wheeler is fucking a foot underground. I got to troll Dr. Phil because of her. You got to troll Dr. F or troll Dr. Phil. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I totally forgot that you were part of the Dr. Phil episode. Holy shit. Memories. That's like five years ago, four years ago. <laughs> Can he introduce me to Mr. Coffee? Everyone loves your name, Betty Crocker. I always see people making jokes about your name. James can't afford to buy. Yeah, he even told, he's like, don't feel obligated to come and see me just because I bought you earrings, okay? See, they weren't expensive, and I can just give them to someone else, okay, if you don't want them. He literally thinks that him buying a girl gold-plated and sterling silver earrings is going to make her feel bad for not contacting him. <laughs> like, come on. I know, Rigzella, I know. But like I said, it's worth it if it just steers him away from the normal, innocent people that he <laughs> keeps falling in love with. It breaks my fucking heart. Every time he puts a video out that says something about his young nurse or his nursing nurse picking berries... Oh my god, like, has he ever gotten laid? I'm sure he has. He's, what, in his mid-40s? <sighs> Although, as we know, Hat Man, as I know now, thanks to you, it's not very easy for James to uh, fornicate with the tools he's working with, so. Mm -hmm. I could. I could, Rigzilla. That, that would be a fun summer activity for me. It really would. <laughs> oh, what happened to Two of a Kind's daughter? Hang on, let me see if I can find it. Two of a Kind. Where is she? Two of a Kind. I don't see her. But I'm sorry, too, for whatever happened to your daughter, Two of a Kind. I'm sorry I missed it. Very sorry I missed it. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. No, 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 Resident Milf. Latiti was not on Dr. Phil. Truthfully, Trisha. Look up Truthfully, Trisha, Dr. Phil, and you'll see her faint on stage. She was the famous mom, the famous YouTuber mom that fainted on stage on Dr. Phil. She was like, like 230 at the time, I think, or like two, 200, and she just fell. Boom, the stage shook. It was crazy. It was crazy. She just fell dead weight, pretended to fucking faint in the middle of Dr. Phil. Fucking hilarious. Golden. Me and Trisha were a power couple on YouTube. She'd go crazy and I would make her more crazy. It was Sean and his wife who sent me Trisha's nudes and sent those messages to use on Dr. Phil. Takedown Man, man said. Yeah, and Takedown Man, one of his excerpts like a paragraph was read on Dr. Phil from Takedown Man. If that isn't fucking gold, like, I don't know what is. It was someone jumping bail and sticking her with the big full bill. Yeah, that sucks, reality check. That sucks. That sucks, two of a kind. I'm so sorry. I don't know why people fuck with people's money. That's not cool. And you're going to get badass karma for that. You'll never get out of your mom's basement fucking with someone's money. Hello. Nothing. I'm on a live stream. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, it is early. Okay. I'll see you soon. I love you. Bye.
I can't ignore that. Oh, I'll ignore my mother, but I won't ignore my husband. That's terrible. Okay. Anyways. So guys, yeah, I'm going to get off in a minute now that I know hubby's coming home early. That's awesome. Love when work ends early on a Friday. He, well, yeah, he just gets to decide when he leaves because there's no one there to tell him what to do. <laughs> Our friend One Wen is the lady in the episode who got to confront Titi. Yes, and oh my gosh, are any of you guys in the like Yaba Sam DC media? Do you guys like pay attention to all that? Chantel, you have to know Yaba. She gets like 2,000 people in her streams. Like she's a, a huge creator. Do you guys ever like fool around with that, that side? I know like Adonis's crowd doesn't know what the hell I'm talking about. But that they're going off right now. Like, there's so much shit going off in that community right now. People are effing with Sam and Yaba. And then, like, DC Media Girl is trying to uh, simp for Charlie Gold. That side of the internet's crazy. And I've been away from it so long with the Letitia stuff that I didn't know all this stuff was going on. People are talking about Negs again. Do you guys remember Negs, who used to be on YouTube? You remember Negs, Take Down Man. I know you do. It was my voice on the show. Oh, did you even get to read it? I was there, but said I wanted to Jerry Springer, Sean. So they recorded my voice. Oh my God. You dumbass. You shouldn't have said that. Do you know how funny it would have been if you walked out on stage? Oh my God. I know, Robin, DC Media Girl. Her and Negs are like doing the dirty right now. Oh, I forgot. I did want to go through here. Let me post these screenshots again for you guys in case you need to grab them without my face in them. Give me a second. I got to get the first one back up again. Hold on. And we'll start there and then that way you guys can get them if you need to. So put that up. Before I head off, let me get myself out of the way and put it over here. Oh, and the chat's in the way there. Let me move myself. There we go and get this out of the, what the hell is that? Okay, there we go. So now there, there's one page of it. I'm sorry it's out of order. This is actually the last page, but you guys can put them in order whenever you get. So there's one. Uh, let's see, which one was that? That's the, okay, that's the last page. So now you need the two in between pages. Leticia said she, Yes. Okay. This is going to be okay. So they're going to be in backwards order. So four, three, two, one. This is page number three. Oh, it's not up. Hold on. Facts constituting probable cause. There. Okay. Here's the next one. Number three with no chat or anything in the way. I'm sorry I redacted it. If you want them unredacted, you'll have to go. And I missed so much when I was reading. I didn't even read the whole thing. I just skimmed for what I needed to redact. So I'm sorry about that. I'm very sorry about that. Okay. Which one did you guys just read? Oh, hold on. That's the same one. Oh, there's so much. That's the last one. Consensual sex with her behind him. Oh, there. Let's see. Okay. Here's page two. There's page two. And now the first page will be easy for me to find and give you because I know what it looks like. And there is the first page. So there's the four pages that I just read at the beginning of the stream with my face and the chat off of them so you can screenshot if you need to use it in your videos or anything. If not, you can find it on the Arkansas website. You guys, other litidiologists know that. You guys all know that stuff. Let's see, move me back over now and I'm going to just shut that out because I don't like stuff behind me if I'm not reading it. Okay. All right. I'm going to start rolling the outro song so I can go get my babies and wait for hubby to get home. I'm having pork fajitas tonight. Let me get this where I need it. Above there. There we go. There we go. Oh, don't move that. I do that every time. I literally do the same thing every single time. 
That's what I do. I don't want to cover the beautiful fireworks. I don't know why I picked fireworks. I just thought that looked cute. Let it go. Hang on a second. Let it go. Just message me on Twitter and I'll send you the link. You can message me on Twitter. Thank you guys for coming. Reading those with me. Fireworks. Whoop, whoop. All right, I got to close this webcam because I don't have pants on and I need to stretch. Oh, there we go. Whew. Yes, LJs, have an awesome weekend. Have an amazing weekend. Oh. I think Rocky, oh, Rocky wanted to say hi. Look at that. Where is it? Oh, Rocky, quit with my arm. Come on, say hi, huh? Come on, say hi. They can't see you, bud. You're too low. There you are. There you are. See your beautiful face. <laughs> oh, ouch. That was my leg. That was my leg. What is wrong with you? Oh, have a beautiful weekend, guys. I picked up some sticky icky this morning, and I'm about to go annihilate a gravity bomb. Yes, I am 15 years old. Fuck you. Don't judge me. There he is. He came back up with me. No good job to come up with me. There's Rocky. There's Rocky. Isn't he the most beautiful German Shepherd you've ever seen? He's a perfect German Shepherd, aren't you? Nope, I don't want kisses. I don't want your fart breath. No, thank you. Okay, guys, I love you. Have an excellent weekend, babes.